How do you make the molecular orbital diagram for the Li2 minus ion? Start by drawing in the highest energy atomic orbitals associated with each individual lithium atom. By looking at the periodic table, we can see that the electron configuration for lithium is equal to 1s2, 2s1, showing us that the highest energy atomic orbitals in lithium are these 2s atomic orbitals. We can start our molecular orbital diagram by drawing in these 2s atomic orbitals for each individual lithium atom. Because we have two atomic orbitals, we must also make two molecular orbitals. The molecular orbital that is lower in energy is a bonding molecular orbital, called the sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital. And the one that is higher in energy is an antibonding molecular orbital called the sigma 2s star antibonding molecular orbital. Remember to connect your original atomic orbitals with your newly formed molecular orbitals. Next, we need to fill in our diagram with valence electrons. Each lithium atom has one valence electron, but because we're making an anion, an Li2 minus, one of our lithium atoms must also be an anion. So, it doesn't matter which one you choose, but we'll choose the one on the left as Li minus, the anion, which means that it'll now have two electrons. So combined, Li2 minus will now have a total of three electrons to fall into our molecular orbitals. We can fill in this 2s atomic orbital with these two electrons, and this one electron will fall here. Then, according to the off principle, we'll fill up our molecular orbitals with the lowest energy molecular orbital first. We'll put two electrons here to fill it up completely, and then put the remaining one electron in our antibonding molecular orbital. And this is your completed molecular orbital diagram for Li2 minus. Next, what is the bond order for Li2 minus? The bond order measures the strength and stability of a bond and also tells you how many electron pairs are present in a bond. It is equal to one half of the number of bonding electrons found in the sigma 2s bonding molecular orbital minus the number of antibonding electrons present in the antibonding molecular orbital. For Li2 minus, it will be equal to one half times the number of bonding electrons, of which there's two, minus the number of antibonding electrons of which there's one. One half times one is equal to one half, which means that there's half of a single bond present in a bond in the Li2 minus ion. It also means that there's one half of an electron pair present. So that means one electron exists in a bond between the lithium atoms in this molecule. Finally, is Li2 minus paramagnetic or is it diamagnetic? Because there is an unpaired electron that exists in the molecular orbitals of the Li2 minus ion, this means that it will express paramagnetism, and we can say that it is paramagnetic, which implies that Li2 minus will be weakly attracted to an external magnetic field. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.